Sleep in someone else's bedroom? How does that even make any sense? I just thought it would be romantic. A change of pace for us. Hmm. Well, the weekend is pretty full. Maybe, maybe next weekend. I'll, I'll look at my schedule. Your schedule? I mean, I get you have to work nine to five and stay late at work and you have clients and projects and all that. But a lot of nights when you come home, I'm already asleep. And I eat by myself and I watch TV by myself. Honey, we've been through this. I have a very difficult job, and I don't keep normal business hours. Yeah, but even on the weekends, you're never around. Like last weekend, Saturday, you had your softball game. Saturday night, you had boys' night with your brother. Sunday, you're watching football or baseball or whatever the hell it is. What about me? Come on, honey, I love you. Well, then show it. But I'm the anchor of the softball team. They need me. And besides, ever since my dad died, it's important for me to spend time with my brother. That was 12 years ago. We agreed a long time ago that we would still find time for our friends. We had that conversation before we even got married. Now that Eric is in college, I just thought we could get our life back. We could rekindle our dating life before we had kids. I miss you. I miss you too. Well, I want to believe that, but it doesn't seem like you want to spend any time with me. Of course I do. And I know I work a lot, and believe me, I'm really not happy about it, but in the weekends, yeah, they're full, but that's really an important time for me to blow off steam and relax. Can't do that with me. We don't even go on dates anymore. Dates? We've been married for 23 years. So? We can't have fun together? We can't be romantic? I mean, when was the last time we even had sex? Mm. Yeah, it's been a while for, for everything. Just. Don't tell me you care about me. Show me. I will. This weekend? Mm. This weekend? It can't happen. The game is more important than I am, right? No. It's just, I can't miss this game. Maybe next weekend. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so for your birthday, I have some ideas. Mm -hmm. We can do the Disney thing because I know you refuse to actually grow up and I know how much you love theme parks, even though Disney is a heartless publicly owned and traded company where the stockholders care much more about the return on their investments than they actually do about the children's happiness. Hey, I don't care. I still love Disney. And I know it's weird because I don't necessarily like the rides and stuff. I just like being in a theme park, especially a Disney theme park. Well, who wouldn't love standing in line for hours on end in the extreme heat paying $7 for bottled water? Or we can do the Amish thing. I do love Amish road trips. I know you do. That's part of the reason why we're together. Now, if you can handle the mind-blowing, thrill-of-a-lifetime adventure, your Amish experience will include a trip to a farmhouse from 1805 where you will listen to a narrative on the customs culture and traditions of the Amish, a 35 minute film titled Jacob's Choice, where you will follow a young Amish man as he decides whether or not 
to be Amish. And then if you're still hungry for more, you will witness farming with horses, Amish carriages clip-clopping by, <laughs> and then we'll stop for authentic Amish goods and food, including an Amish bonnet, a hex sign, and shoe fly pie. You're such an asshole. I'm sorry, I know it's weird. I just have this like crazy obsession with Amish people. Also, what is shoe fly pie? I can't tell you. Look, I know how hard it is for you to resist turning me into your own private sexual obstacle course, but if I tell you what shoe fly pie is, you may never be able to take your hands off me again. Well, I already can't keep my hands off of you, so. Shoe fly pie is a molasses crumb cake baked in a pie crust. Oh, baby, okay, keep talking. That developed its traditional form among the Pennsylvania Dutch in the 1880s. Ooh, I'm so hot for you right now. Okay, keep going. Who ate it with strong black coffee for breakfast. Its mm -hmm. primary ingredients are molasses, flour. Ooh, baby, okay. Brown sugar, <laughs> egg, and water. Mm -hmm. It comes in two varieties, wet bottom or dry bottom. Okay, we need to go upstairs and fuck like right now. <laughs> wet bottom or dry bottom? <laughs> drunk? No, I'm not drunk. I'm like slightly buzzed. That's not even drunk. I'm like only a quarter drunk. That's not even drunk. I mean, plus I'm always like rambling and slurring and incoherent anyway. So I mean, does it really even matter? I hate when you drink. It's not even noon. Right. You know, day drinking is definitely a sign that you have a few problems. Hmm. <laughs> as is getting pulled over by the cops after you've been day drinking. You got a DUI? No, I know how to flirt my way out of that shit. Oops, I probably shouldn't have told you that. You no, know, you're supposed to be the strong one here, remember? Getting me through the chemo, getting me through the pain. Yes, the strong one. I know, I guess I'm failing at being the rock, the dependable one, the wind beneath your wings, but you wanna know why? Because I'm a hot fucking mess myself. Hey, it can't be that bad, right? At least I'm hot. You never laugh anymore. Do you know that? You never laugh anymore? I told you to come right home because I had news. Yes, I know. And when you said that, I went to the liquor store. Wait, wrong. First I went to the 7-Eleven and I bought ho-hos. You know what those are? Because first I tried to eat my troubles away and then when that wasn't working, then I went to the liquor store. I told you to come right home. Why did you feel the need to drink first? Because I'm weak, okay? I'm weak and I'm terrified and you're the one that's dealing with this fucking disease and I'm the one that's too scared to help you or to deal with it or to deal with reality. So yeah, you say, come home. And then I try to think about what you could possibly want to tell me and then I drink so I don't have to deal with it. It's in remission. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? Because seriously, babe, I honestly can't handle anything worse right now. Like, I truly can't. Wait, why are you laughing? Why the fuck are you laughing? Because it's not bad. It's in partial remission. That, that means that the cancer's still there, but the tumor itself has gotten smaller. The doctor said there was a reduction at least 50%. So you're getting better. I'm getting better. But it's not gone. No, no, not yet, but everyone says it looks really good. Baby, that's so good. You were so scared about losing your hair. And you were so scared about me dying. God, well, shit. I mean, you're the first guy that I've ever been with that's actually treated me well. The first guy that's never hurt me, never lied to me. So, I mean, you're fucking perfect, you asshole. Of course I don't want you to die. Are you serious? You're really going to be okay? I'm really going to be okay. I swear, okay, if this is a fucking dream, if I wake up and none of this is actually ba true, baby, I swear to God, baby, I can... This is not a dream, okay? You got me through this. Hot mess and all, you got me through it. <laughs> God, my mom, she calls and she asks me every single time how you're doing. And every time she does, I just break down and cry. <sighs> well, baby, you can tell her that I'm gonna be around for a long, long time. 
Hey, baby, what's going on? What do you want to do today? I took the day off. I hate trick questions. How is that a trick question? Um, because it's like multiple choice and there's always a trick answer. What? Well, what do you want to do today? I want to go clothes shopping. Are you kidding me? Again? I just took you clothes shopping yesterday and it ran me over two grand. Yeah, so? I'm hungry for new clothes. Did you eat yesterday? Yeah. Are you gonna eat again today? Yeah. So I'm hungry too, but for clothes. Alright, well, we're not gonna go clothes shopping. I took the day off, so let's do something we both enjoy. Hey, when you married me, you know I didn't come cheap. I'm not fucking married. I don't even know your last name. My parents want me to get married. Your parents are both dead. So? They still speak to me. Oh, maybe that's my QVC. I told you to stop ordering that shit. Fucking shitballs! I see your vocabulary's gotten much better. Does that have anything to do with the high school cheerleader you're currently fucking? Oh, how did you know I was a cheerleader? What do you want? Alimony. What is that, like an Italian dessert? I see you're dating her for her mind. It's nice to see you're not shallow anymore. Why are you here? What are you doing here? If I'm late with the check, why don't you just call? Actually, better yet, why don't you text? I do call. You don't answer. I text, you don't respond. I'm sure you're off spending my money on this twat over here, right? Am I right? What, what's a twat? Is that like a fruit? Have you ever had kiwi? It's so gross. I don't understand why it's so hard for you to understand that I've moved on. I don't give a shit if you've moved on. Please, screw every whore in the world. I don't care. Just give me my money. I know. You come here because you still want to see me. Oh my God. Get over yourself. You were never that fucking great to begin with. You're the one who destroyed this marriage, not me. And you're the one who wanted the divorce, not me. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna Google twat. Okay. A stupid or obnoxious person. A woman's generals. Well, which one am I? Can you please go into the kitchen? Babe, what are genitals? Please, just for a second. Write me a fucking check. Whatever. Whatever it takes to get you out of here. Why do we have to do this every month? Why? You know, and don't tell me you're broke because I know you're not. I know you just bought a new car, and I know you're taking Little Miss Long to Aruba, so don't tell me that. You know what I would like for you to tell me is how you can spend money on yourself and your twat when there are things that your child needs. She needs new clothes, and she wants ballet lessons. I'm so tired of telling her no. I'm tired of telling her mommy can't afford this. Mommy can't afford that. I'm sick of it. You know, I might be struggling every day, but I sure as hell don't miss this back and forth shit. So get me my money on time from now on, or I'll take you to court and I'll make you pay. Do you understand? You know, when we first met, I get butterflies in my stomach every time you looked at me. Now I just want to throw up. What happened to us? What the hell happened? I wish I knew. Here's your check. Don't ever come back here. Before we had apps and doctors, the moon represented the natural reminder of the ebbs and flows of our menstrual cycle. Turning to nature, specifically the moon and all of its phases, can help us to reconnect to our natural rhythm of our bodies. Instead of thinking of our periods as a form of frustration, we can think of it as a way to return to the roots of this natural and beautiful experience 
allowing us to examine our bodies more thoughtfully and closely. Historically, and in some ancient cultures, when a menstruating woman has her period on a full moon, she was actually considered a healer. During ovulation phase, however, the moon offers this heightened alert energy. Use this time to release that which does not serve you in your pursuits. What the fuck does the moon have to do with me getting my period? The belief in the connection between the lunar cycles and women and our periods, it's ingrained in our very own language. I mean, the word menstruation originates from the Latin and Greek word for moon and month. Scientists are now saying that data doesn't support this, but you know what? They're wrong. All life is connected. There's a strong connection between the moon and women and our monthly cycles. You know, all my life I've wanted men to get periods. I mean, don't get me wrong, men get PMS, absolutely, <laughs> even more than women do. But if per week, five to seven days, men bled out of their dicks, this world would be a different place. If they had to get tiny little pads and stick them in their pee holes, if they had to deal with cramps and moodiness and the hormonal imbalance that literally makes them crazy, Everyone would have a week off work every single month. Ugh, they'd be bitching and moaning way more than women do. <laughs> and women, we would get a fucking break from the constant nagging for sex for at least a week every single month. I'm sorry, but if men were bleeding from their dicks, they would still want sex. <laughs> Why are you telling us about all this anyway? I thought you said some motivational speaker was coming. Oh, he had to reschedule. So I thought I would tell you about the fascinating correlation between the moon and women's periods, especially with a special event coming up. Okay, ladies, let's take a break. Sorry. What on earth are you sorry about? Um, I don't need to bother you. The nut house is a few blocks away. <sighs> sorry, please don't mind her. Welcome. Um, is this where I am? Um, um, this is the Sisterhood Sanctuary. We're a home committed to serving the most underserved and vulnerable population. Abused women. We help those transition from a life of homelessness, poverty, domestic violence, to one of more stability and self-sufficiency. We provide lots of love or really whatever kind of support you need. I, um, I didn't date much in high school or college or after college. Actually, I, I didn't date much at all. Sorry. No, please continue. Well, last year I met a man and he was sweet and kind and he was my first, you know? And he asked me to move in with him, and I did. I just didn't want to be alone anymore. I took care of my mother and my grandmother, and then when they passed, oh, I just didn't want to be alone. Uh, things changed once you moved in with him. Yes. He would yell at me all day and hit me a lot. I would just cook and clean and give him whatever he wanted, you know, with my parts. But I just didn't want to be hit anymore. Yeah, we're a really small home, but you're welcome here. Most places only take pregnant women or women with small kids. Well, we're a little different. We're a transitional home for women whose children have grown or women who don't have children. Um, how much is it? I really, I, I don't have a lot of money. Well, the price to stay here is determined in your own Courage, strength, and determination. I am, um, I really don't have anywhere else to go. Then we'll welcome home. Hey, come on, follow me. I'll take her upstairs, get her room. Hello, food fast? Yeah, it'll be twenty six fifty. You have a lovely neck. 
Thanks. I guess. May I touch it? I don't understand, ma'am. That'll be that'll be twenty six fifty for the food. Put it down. Let me touch your neck. Oh, okay. Kind of have a girlfriend, but. Let me touch your neck. Wait, my neck? What? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for making me feel safe. Well, that's what we do here. We, we make you feel safe. No. Please. No. Please. Fine. Why do you have a suitcase? Um, threw me out. What? Came home high, drunk, what? Pregnant. You are an idiot. You are a complete idiot. You can never do anything right. You're the last person that should be having a baby. Do you hear me? You're irresponsible, immature, and a complete fuck up. So can I stay for a little while? Who's the father? Mark. Hmm? Well, at least he's cute. And I'm assuming he's leaving you to deal with this all on your own? He's scared. He's, he's just freaking out. We're both so stupid. He wants to be a part of it, but he's just, I mean, he was visiting from California. Doesn't even live around here. Neither of us are ready to be parents. What happened at home? I was freaking out. I told mom what happened and she said she's done. She told me to leave, right when I needed her the most. Well, you could stay here for as long as you need. <laughs> Shit, I can't believe I'm being this nice to you. It makes me want to vomit. Thanks. Me too. This pregnancy is already affecting me. Mood swings and whatever. Morning sickness? Yeah. I'm peeing a lot. My boobs are sore and I just don't feel like myself. Me either. Like today I was in an Uber and the Uber driver was nice, but I kept imagining what it'd be like to kill him. I had the urge to find something sharp and just jab it into his neck and watch the blood splatter all over the car and on the windows. <laughs> I can hardly kill a spider, yet I wanted to kill my Uber driver. <laughs> Most people think about killing an Uber driver at least once a month. There was an amazing thing happening. A once, maybe twice in a lifetime event. An exhilarating event. Are you ready? A total solar eclipse. And? When the new moon passes between the sun and the earth, casting its darkest part of the shadow on the earth, it's called a total solar eclipse. Okay, who cares? During an eclipse, the earth is thrown into darkness as if nighttime has returned for just a few brief minutes. It's totally confusing to animals, insects, if not to humans. You know, some days I think I was better off staying with my abusive husband. What is happening again? A, a blue moon? Blue moon, you saw me standing alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own No, 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 not a blue moon, a solar eclipse. It's not that rare for there to be a solar eclipse, but very rare for there to be a total solar eclipse. Strange things start to happen, and they're about to get even stranger. Strange how? Strange like this one? Sorry, it's, it's just a habit. When I get nervous, I chew things like pencils, my nails, my hair. <laughs> Animals start to go crazy. There's a dramatic drop in temperature. Strange things start to happen with the wind and the clouds. And to some people. Women are connected to the moon. 
Great. Life lessons from a hair-eating schizophrenic. The sun is the key source of life on Earth, but the moon has equally important effects on our lives. Women and the moon have always been intertwined in literature and a woman's body and the female cycle are connected to the moon and the earth. Bullshit. It's true, it, it, it's true. A woman through her menstrual cycle goes through the different lunar energies, new moon first quarter, full moon third quarter, and these in turn are connected to the different seasons. You're such a freak. There is a connection. And let me tell you, I can already start to feel the energy and vibes of this. It's going to be happening in the next few days, and I can feel it already. So whatever drugs you're all on, I want some. Good morning. Do you have coffee? Should you be drinking coffee when you're pregnant? Um, I mean, I'm not even drinking alcohol or smoking or anything like that. I got a call from the finance company. You haven't made your car payment in four months. Why did they call you? Because I co-signed for you. I'm sorry. How do you not make your car payment? I messed up. I, I forgot and then I had no money. Echas a perder todo lo que haces. Olvida el café. Tienes tequila. I'm what? kidding. <laughs> Why are you such a fuck up? Can I ask you something? And don't take this the wrong way, but are you jealous? <laughs> Am I jealous of who? You? Are you serious right now? No, I'm not. Let's talk about how perfect you are. Mom's perfect little angel. Never did anything wrong. Perfect grades in school. Never causes trouble. Never even drank a sip of beer. <laughs> perfect. Perfect boyfriend. Only I know. You know what? What do you know? I know that you kind of hate yourself. And you envy me because you wish you could lose control just once. I know that you rag on me so much because you wish it was you. Oh, I know that you and your boyfriend have such a perfect relationship because you never say no to him. You never stand up for yourself. You never get anything you want out of it because you might cause a problem. And you don't do problems, right? <laughs> I might be a fuck up, but at least I live my life. I make mistakes, but at least I'm not someone desperately trying to break the fuck out. <sighs> Sorry. You're letting your homeless pregnant sister crash with you. I really shouldn't be the one putting you down. But you're right. I'm jealous of you. I always have been, and I kind of hate myself. Not that I want to fuck up my life or anything, but I feel trapped. So trapped that I just want to break out, but how do you break out of the person you've been your whole life? It's funny, remember when I told you about the Uber driver the other day? Well, I was at my friend's house and this guy told me that I should smile more. And in that moment... <laughs> okay but in my head all of that happened and I never have violent thoughts but it felt it felt good your boss called earlier when you were in the shower Ed what did he want? Did he leave a message? Just something about some PDF you needed to send? I'm taking care of that now. You know, he asked me out to dinner. Well, you better make sure he pays because he's got deep pockets, but when it comes to paying the bill, it's like he's got alligator arms. He was flirting with me a lot. Yeah, he's a little out of control. So, sleep with him if he wants? What was that, huh? Do you need this? Yes, actually I do. Good. What's wrong with you? What are you doing? What are you talking about? I do notice you. 
When? You're being ridiculous. I am not being ridiculous. This is exactly how I feel. And even if I was being ridiculous, this should be a huge red flag for you that something is wrong with our marriage. Honey, do you remember when I was taking those tennis lessons and you were doing that spin thing in the other part of the gym? We were together, but we were apart. What? That makes no sense. And it has nothing to do with your wife telling you that she feels neglected. I shouldn't even have to tell you. You should notice. But you don't notice because you never, ever... I understand. Come here. No. This isn't about sex. You don't talk to me. You don't miss me. You don't even look at me. You don't even fucking look at me. You look at your laptop and your phone and your buddies and your bartender and your, your fucking baseball buddies. You said baseball. It's actually softball. You know, I was reading this article last week about health and wellness goals for men and women at different life stages. It found that younger men, Gen Zers, Gen Xers, millennials, found the work-life balance to be a top priority. I mean, how can you thrive at work, exercise, see your friends, be a parent and a husband? I mean, it's, it's really quite the balance. Do you always keep your baseball stuff in here? Softball, babe. Softball. And yeah, actually I do, because otherwise you put it somewhere and I can never find it. Is that a problem? No. It's not. Um, may I ask why you're here? If it's too personal, you don't have to tell me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. Ugh. Take a pill, will you? I just, I just feel like I'm the only woman things like this happen to. No, not even close. You want to know how many women are abused by their husbands and boyfriends? One in four. Mm -hmm. Think about that. One in four. Want to know the percentage of assaults against women that are reported annually? 25. 25%. Not only is abusing women an epidemic, but 75% of the time nobody even knows about it. Do you need a hug? Are hugs allowed? Hugs are always allowed. Don't even think about it. Let me tell you, never, never, never make major life decisions when your life's in a downward spiral. Because that's what I did. My life was a mess. And I met a guy who didn't seem to care, so I married him. And you can guess how that turned out. Um, not so well. I say that because if things turned out great, you probably wouldn't be here, right? Anyway, we got in our first big fight. You know, people fight, people argue all the time, but he also used his fists. And I think I was just in so much denial and I didn't want to believe it and it went on and on and on. Well, why didn't you call the cops? Because he was a cop. Well, what about internal affairs? <laughs> his brother headed up internal affairs and he beat the crap out of his wife too. <sighs> the day of my niece's wedding, he got mad at me for, I don't even remember why, but he got mad at me and he ended up knocking out two of my front teeth on the way to see my entire family. So yeah, that really sucked. Well, back in junior high school, I used to get into fights with boys and girls, and I never lost. My dad used to get drunk on the weekends, and he was a mean drunk. My sister and I would always try to pull him off my mom so we would get hit a lot. But it made it seem like the kids at school were no big thing, you know? But when my husband hit me, I don't know. I just couldn't fight back. I couldn't, I'd rather wouldn't report him. I just became my mom. Weak, a victim. I just took it. I just, I don't know. Deer in the headlights, you know? A person experiencing the deer in headlights syndrome often shows behavioral signs reminding those of us of a deer subjected to a car's headlight, such as widely open eyes or 
a momentary lack of motor reactions. Yeah, we all know what it means. Were you always like this, or are you the result of too many, you know? Point is, you're not alone. We're the weaker sex, right? I mean, sure, any man could give birth, get waxed every week, deal with cramping, bloating, back aches, and still wear fucking heels every day, and get beaten up by their spouse, and just learn to live with it. We are not the weaker sex. Well, I would love to prove that. Tomorrow, the total solar eclipse of the sun. Are you excited? I am so excited. This feels like nothing I've ever felt before. Nothing. <sighs> Not gonna let a little rain ruin a perfectly good picnic. A picnic in our living room, seriously? <laughs> are you the sweetest man alive or what? I am. Yeah, you are. Wait, why do you look sad? Why do you always have the complete opposite reaction I'm expecting you to have? What do you mean? Well, like, you were happy, and now you look sad. Kind of like when I had my first hooker. I started out happy, and then a few minutes later, I was really sad. I'm just kidding, that was my second hooker. I'm sad because I love you. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I have been in, like, one really shitty relationship after the other. Like, to the point where I can't trust anybody. I feel like I can't care about anybody. And then you come into my life, and... I feel happy and important, and I laugh. And I fall head over heels for you, and I just, I'm sad that I wasted so much time. Like, so many tears over assholes. Mr. Perfect, huh? I uh, like the sound of that. Might get it a tattooed above the old penis. Wait, so are you Mr. Perfect or is he Mr. Perfect? <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that. <laughs> Look, everything, everyone that's happened in your life, good and bad, every tear, every asshole, those are the steps you have to take to bring us together. The same with me. If I didn't date and dump all those porn stars and ballet dancers and models, well, I never would have met you. Ballet dancers? Seriously? I kind of always had a thing for ballet dancers. You know, tearing off the tutu and having them plie in arabesque in bed. You're so weird. <laughs> Come to think of it, that could make for some good role playing. We'd have a night of Swan Lake. Uh, no. Come on, we could do all five foot positions. No. Come on, it'll be fun. I'll wear my leotard. I said no. I'm sorry. I, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Yeah. Me too. Hey babe, are we gonna watch the meteor shower tomorrow? What meteor shower? Um, the one that's been all over the news. You mean the eclipse? Yeah, I wanna watch it and name all the stars. Oh yeah? Hmm. You know the stars? Yeah. I wanna name some. Um, I know Orion's pot, like his big dipping pot and his small one. I know Neptune, um, the Milky Way. Which I think is so stupid that they would name a star after a candy. <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't we take a trip to Uranus? Take a trip there? How would you get there? I don't know. Maybe a couple shots of whiskey? I don't get it. Uranus? Come on, it's like the oldest joke in the book. Oh, right. You're old. <sighs> there is actually an eclipse tomorrow. And I'd like to see it. But, uh, I'd love to take some photos of it, too. So... Ah, what the fuck? Why'd you do that? I'm sorry. I don't know. Why'd you do that? That really fucking hurt. I, I don't know. I, I, re I really don't know. You're my fucking therapist. I pay you a fortune. Can't you just step away from the beach for a few minutes and talk to me? I've been sober for the past few weeks anyway, but my mind is clear. My head is clear, you understand? But like out of nowhere, I've been having these, I don't even know how to describe them, like violent thoughts, really violent. No, it's, it's not the typical shit. I'm not having thoughts about hurting myself. I think 
think about hurting others. Hurting others? Different men? No, not hurting my ex. Maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't even see their faces. I just really feel like hurting them. No, I'm not acting on it yet. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. You've been having them too? Hey, can you turn this off? I want to talk to you for a second. Okay, so the other day I was talking to my good friend Charlie. Charlie. Relax, it's a girl, Charlie with an I. Okay, anyway, so I was talking to Charlie and she referred to me as a cancer caregiver. Great, as if I didn't feel bad enough. What? What's the problem? It's really nice, it's beautiful, it's very beautiful. How is that beautiful? It's sad, it makes me feel pathetic. I'm your boyfriend, I'm not your burden. Oh my God, will you stop? I'm always referred to as the alcoholic. The disappointment, the tramp, the slut, the whore. Three vastly different ways of describing your sexual nature. Great. Okay, look, the point here is that this is the first time in who knows how long that I have actually felt useful, important, needed, fucking good about myself because of you for the first time in, for the first time in who knows how long, I'm actually proud of myself. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Why did you ask me out anyways? Uh, you asked me out because I'm very attractive, oh. obviously. <laughs> uh, no, no, sir, you asked me out. I was at the bar and you came up to me and you said, are you a parking ticket? Because you've got fine written all over you. Oh I assumed God. you were asking me out. Okay, but then you said to me, you were like, oh, hey, guess what? Your breasts remind me of Mount Rushmore. My face should be among them. I was drunk. Okay, yeah, so was I. But then you came up to me and you were like, oh, hey, do you mind if we take a quick selfie together? I just want to show my mom what my next girlfriend looks like. <laughs> God, it was so cheesy. But I fell in love with you in that moment. Yeah, I kind of did too. Because you're the only girl it's ever worked on. Hey, wait a second. Okay, listen, the point here is, God, shit, what the hell are we talking about? I have no idea. Oh my god, yes, okay. The point is, is that I want to take care of you. My whole life, other people have had to take care of me. And I'm very grateful that I get to take care of you. And I promise you that once I'm back to full health and all this is behind us, I'm going to show you how much I appreciate you. I'm going to make you a very happy woman. I already am. Hey, you okay? Cancer. You know? It rips you apart from the inside. And it sneaks in. And it starts to destroy every single part of you. It destroys your intestines, and your lungs, and your brain, your liver, and your kidneys. And it eats away at you. It destroys every single part of you and it leaves you with nothing. Right, and thank God I'm on my way to full recovery. You and me, right? Mm hmm. You and me. How did you find out you were pregnant? 
I got that home pregnancy test, peed on it and found out why. I'm late. How late? Late enough, I'm never late. So you're pregnant too? Awesome, we're gonna be pregnant together. No, it is not awesome, it is a nightmare. I do not wanna be pregnant, Ugh, I do not wanna have a baby. Ugh, and every time I think of Danny, I just wanna bash his fucking skull in. I've never seen you this angry. Hormones and shit, right? I better not be fucking pregnant. I better not be fucking pregnant. Baby, you're not pregnant. I swear, I am careful. I am unbelievably careful. Okay, well I'm late and I haven't felt well. Come on, please. Get just... the fuck off of me. Don't come near me. What the fuck is wrong with you lately? You're like the biggest bitch I've ever seen. I mean, shit, if this is what pregnancy is, you can count me the fuck out. Go buy me the test. You want me to buy one? I'm gonna feel extremely weird. And then the girl at the CVS is gonna stare at me. Buy me the fucking test. I am never late. Do you understand? Never. I am never fucking late. Okay, the last two times I was late, it was this whole ordeal, and I had to go to fucking Walmart by myself, and I had to buy babe, babe, this whole thing. What? Babe, you're not pregnant. Well, I better not be. Yeah, you better not be, because we haven't had sex in, like, eight months. Right. So it's not possible. Why are you even thinking about it? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. You're not thinking logically. You can't be pregnant. Okay, fine. A couple weeks ago, I was at a party. And I might have passed out. A couple weeks ago? You never told me that. Wait, that, that weekend you stayed at your sister's house? Yeah, okay, well I might have gone to a party and I might have happened to fall asleep and I don't know, fucking wake up naked, I don't remember, so, I don't what, fucking remember. So what are you saying, someone raped you? No, I'm saying that I woke up half naked but I do not fucking remember, okay? Are you telling me? No, you... look, you can't even fucking get it up anyways. What do you care? Hey, if I am pregnant, I will kill you. I will fucking kill you. If I am pregnant, I will fucking kill myself. I will kill myself. I am not going through that again. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. I'm sure it's not that, honey. I am going out of my mind. That's a symptom. When do you get that thing? What thing? You know, those hot flashes. Santa Claus. Santa Claus? You mean menopause? I am not going through fucking menopause, you idiot. You idiot. What is wrong with you? You don't do anything for me anymore. You better not have put a baby in me. I haven't had my period in weeks. What the hell is going on here? That's so crazy, either have I. Are you kidding me? No, it's making me a little nuts. Well, we're all having our monthly flow and synchronicity. That's a myth. No, it's not. Women's pheromones interact causing us to have our periods at the same time. And all of us not to have our periods at the same time? When I was in college, I had two female roommates and we were always buying tampons at the same time, always moody at the same time. It's not a myth. Hey, nut job. You late? Late for what? I don't have anywhere to be. Your period. You know, they say PMS is in your head, but it's not. PMS is caused by hormones like estrogen or progesterone, and they fall dramatically when your body realizes that you're not pregnant, and it makes you a little crazy, or a lot crazy. That's actually true. Remember that story about those two British women? They escaped murder convictions by arguing that their legal responsibility was diminished because of premenstrual syndrome. PMS it literally can make it crazy. Yes. Crazy. That's exactly how I feel. Hey, are you late or not? Yes. I mean, I haven't had sex since I've been here. You? No. Not a lot of options. I had, I don't know, maybe about like a month ago, I met up with like an old college friend and I don't know, he was feeling sad and unwanted because I don't know, he has two fingers on each hand and two toes on each foot. And I just didn't want him to feel ugly or I'm wanted, so I'm also late.
I think I'm pregnant. Excuse me? I think I'm pregnant. Congratulations. Uh, no, it, because if I am, it's yours. What the fuck are you talking about? If I am... If I am pregnant, then unfortunately you are the father. And this makes our second badly time child, except this time we hate each other. Did we hate each other for the first one? I can't even remember. There is no way that this is mine. Did you get me my tests? Why is your ex-wife here again? You want to tell her? Go get me my tests. Get me my pregnancy tests. Wait. Wait. I think I'm in a vomit. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant or... She's pregnant? When will I learn to use a fucking condom? You're pregnant? Maybe. Who's the father? Who's the asshole that was drunk enough to knock you up? Who do you think? Okay, look. She was here, we were talking about old times, and it didn't mean anything. Having sex with your ex-wife isn't even cheating anyways. I have never wanted to kill someone more in my entire life, but this baby's not about to be born in jail, so go get me my fucking pregnancy test and let me first figure out what's going on. You better get two. Put it this way, if you're both pregnant, you don't have to worry about killing me, because I'll kill my fucking self. Trust me. I'm not pregnant. 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 Amen. I'm not pregnant. There's only one line. Does that mean one baby? Oh, oh, it, it, it means I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Damn it. Don't worry, babe. We'll try again. Trying to make the babies the best part, am I right? Get away from me. Damn it, I'm sorry. I, I'm not mad at you. I love you. I love you so much. I just, I'm not mad at you. You sure seem like it. I'm really fucking mad. I'm not at you. I, I, I need to go for a walk or something. I, I love you so much more than I, I can't, I, I love you. Okay, I, I need to go. I don't understand. I'm not doing chemo anymore. Why do I still feel so weak? Well, what did the doctors tell you to do? <laughs> they said that I should exercise to start slow and then kind of make it a regular thing, but I just feel so fucking weak. I feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like I'm being drugged. <laughs> Who would drug you? Who would do that to you? I wouldn't drug you. I wouldn't do that to you. What? No, I'm just telling you how I feel. Well, you know what? Yeah, why don't you walk? Why don't you get the fuck up and walk? I'm trying. Walk. Babe, I'm trying. You don't understand. Well, you know what? Get the fast. fuck up and walk! What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just trying to help you. Now get the fuck up! Stop! Get up, pussy! Come on, get up! Get the fuck up! Get up! Fucking stop! What the fuck is wrong with you? Everyone said I needed to be there for you, right? I'm just trying to be there for you. Where have you been? I had to work late. You know, I ran into Mike. You remember Mike Caputo? I told him to give my regards to his wife, Gina. You know what he says to me? He goes, I haven't spoken to her in five years. I didn't want to interrupt her. <laughs> he cracks me up. What is my job here? Excuse me? What am I supposed to do? Sit around and wait for you? Plan my life around yours because you have a life and I don't? What is retirement gonna look like? You're gonna be out with your friends fishing and golfing and going to strip clubs? And what the fuck am I gonna do? Sit around and knit? Crochet? Like my great-grandmother? You're losing your mind. 
I mean, seriously, I'm getting tired of this. Maybe you need to see someone, like a therapist or something. Oh, I'm sorry. Is my complete life crisis interfering with your day? You are a cruel and insensitive man. Cruel? What are you talking about? The book of Genesis says, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they should become one flesh. I'm so sorry. Are we not one flesh enough for you? Happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. This is Alejandro. He's a support coach and he's going to be talking to us about how to find a better direction in life. Hello ladies and thank you for welcoming me into your safe space. Each day I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and say the following. I am stronger than any challenges life throws at me. Please, you try. I am stronger than all of the challenges life throws at me. Good, good. I have survived everything in my past. And I can survive everything in the future. I have survived everything in my past. And I can survive everything in my future. Okay. I can overcome anything. I can overcome anything. Oh, excellent. This is wonderful. Your voice is one of strength and power. Never forget that. I just want to thank you for coming here. The men in our lives put us here, so it's kind of a dangerous place for a man to visit. Don't you think? I think what she means to say is that our collective experience has given us a negative image of men. Would you mind if we all gave you a hug just to show the women that not all men are bad? For me, it would be my pleasure. Do you know that hugs result in a dopamine release in our brain? <sighs> the feel-good hormone, which helps relieving the stress and tension, as well as motivate us and boost our self-esteem. Is, is everything all right, ladies? Is everything okay? Ladies? Are you okay, ladies? What is going on here? Ladies, what is going on? Ladies! Ladies! I am strong, brave, and resilient. I have overcome and survived all of the bad days. I am worthy of love and compassion. I can overcome any hardship in my life. I can overcome any challenge in my life. No, no. I want to kill him. I want to slam him. I want to make a fucking plea. Die. Die. I am strong, brave, and resilient. I have survived all the bad days, and I will survive all the future days. I am worthy of love and no! 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 What the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna ruin my floor. Just let me know when the pizza gets here. We just ate. Just let me know. Hey, where were you today? Home Depot. For what? I needed supplies. So, you've been really weird lately. Everyone's been weird lately. I was at the 7-Eleven before and I saw this guy just buying a bag of chips and this woman grabbed the bottle and started smashing this guy in the head with it. Maybe she was his ex, but she left him there with blood gushing out of his head. I'm telling you, something weird is going on. Pizza's here. Let him in. Hey, come in. My sister just has to get the money. All right, 16 even. 
smells so good in the car, I almost ate it myself. <laughs> to talk to you. You need to get the hell out. Look, I... I was there for you, okay? When you were dying, and I stayed up with you every single night when you were vomiting and you were crying and you were in pain. I went to the hospital with you, and I was there for you every single day for you. And I helped you get your life back. And now you're trying to end it? You must be on drugs, or you've gone completely fucking insane, because this is like you when you're on PMS, except like yeah. a thousand times worse. Yes, yes, okay, listen to me. I haven't got my period. I know. Maybe you should... Get another pregnancy no, test. No, 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 you don't understand. I've taken like 15 tests, okay? I've taken first response, clear blue, pregnant. They all say the same fucking thing. They all say that I'm not pregnant. I was talking to my brother the other day, and he said his wife was acting crazy too. And all these stories in the paper. Yeah, it's, I, it's fucking weird. It's like all the women in the entire world, they're all going through this hyper state of PMS and then they're killing all the men in the entire planet. I mean, it sounds like some Twilight Zone episode. Wait a minute. What if there's something to that? What are you talking about? That eclipse. All this shit seems like it started after that eclipse. Are you on your meds? No, just listen to me. How many times have you heard people reference the moon in regards to people's behavior? Like, when someone's acting crazy, they say, oh, it must be a full moon. Or the word lunatic, or even shit like loon or loony, you know, they all derive from the Latin word luna, meaning moon. You know, it's a fucking fact that when there's a full moon, violent crimes increase, arsons, patients in mental hospitals act out. I'm telling you, that eclipse did something. Just shut the fuck up. And it's affecting women. It's affecting their mental state. The moon has turned everyone with PMS into an exaggerated state, and it's making them insane. Shut up. Look, just let me read to you what's in this paper. Everything shut the in this fuck up. I said, it. shut the fuck up. All these fucking apps that bring you food. You the one that brings me men. Let's see. Tinder. Tinder. The Grub Hub for Men. Hi. What's up? Are you uh, in the bondage? Hell yeah. Tie me up. I plan. Listen, my ex-wife, she is acting totally nuts. So if she comes here or calls, just don't answer. I'm craving something. Go get me the ingredients for Ice Krispie Treats. Ice Krispie Treats? Sounds like a, you know, an after sex thing. How about, you know, we have a little bit of fun and then I'll go get you the Rice Krispie Treats. What's the matter? Your balls don't like a little squeeze? Get me my fucking Rice Krispie Treats! <sighs> Where is he? Who? My husband. Husband? Yeah, he was my husband before you came along. He didn't leave you for me. Where is he? Out. Why do you have blood on your hands? Why the fuck not? Good point. Are you gonna shoot me? 
I wanted to when I first met you, but right now, no. I think I'm going to kill him. Rick? You're going to kill Rick? Yeah. Do you have a problem with that? No. Can I have that gun? It's wrong in the Bible. You're going to kill him. Well, I'm Jewish. Pretty sure Jews have a Bible, too. It's a different testament. Fair. So, can I have it? Promise you're going to make him suffer a little? I squeeze his balls really hard. <gasps> Good for you. <gasps> hey, maybe cut him off. You keep one and I'll keep one. I know you're just freaking me out, so can I just, can I have that, please? Today, I called every pharmacy around, every grocery store, every supermarket, okay, and I asked them. I asked if they had sold any pads, any tampons. They thought I was kidding, okay, but I made them check. I made every single one of them check. Not one pad, not one tampon, not one sanitary fucking napkin has been sold because women aren't getting their periods. That can't be possible. It is, okay, and I don't think it's a coincidence that it's all coinciding with the fact that women are murdering all these men. You sound crazy. Exactly. I have all these urges, all these things that I want to do to you. Uh, babe, I have urges for you too. No, I want to hurt you. But I didn't do anything wrong. I know that. I know I, I want to hurt every single man that I see, so I need to find a way not to hurt you. I don't really understand any of this. Like, I know you're kidding. I'm not but... kidding. Okay, I'm not kidding. Look at me. Look me in the eyes, okay? You know me. If I don't hurt somebody soon, I'm afraid that I'm gonna hurt you. Oh, shit. Do you still hate your brother? Yeah. Invite him over. Hi, baby. How you feeling? I got everything you asked for. I'll even help you make everything. No matter what you need, I'll help you. What the fuck are these? Those are marshmallows. They're big. Yeah, so? I wanted mini. Mini melt better. They're exactly the same thing. Mini melt better, motherfucker! <laughs> I'm from SGR of Recovery, ma'am. Um, I'm here to be possessed this car. This car? My boyfriend's car? Yeah, um, now you need to stay calm. Good. Take it. Screw him. Damn, you're a cold bitch. <laughs> Just like my ex. I am a very, very cold bitch. Oh, shit. Do you remember when we took that drive to me? We went to Kenny Bungport. We saw those lighthouses and Stephen King's house. You know, you were on your phone or your laptop the entire time. You didn't stop working long enough to spend any time with us. I'm sorry. Okay, please. Why are you doing this? You have one chance at making memories, and when you fail to appreciate it, they cease to exist. I'm sorry. We can go back. I'll throw in my phone. I'll, I'll smash my laptop. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't appreciate the way I should have, and maybe I took it for granted. It's all my fault, and I'm sorry I had to come to this made me realize it. But we're here now. Just give me one more chance. One more chance to prove to you that things can be different. One more chance to appreciate you and treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Baby, I gave you chance after chance after chance. This is insanity. Please untie me. Insanity is a perfectly rational adjustment for an insane world. I told you I liked her. Well, she liked me a lot more. It doesn't matter. I called dibs. You should have backed off. She was the only girl in the sixth grade with titties. There was no way I was going to back off. 
Yeah, well, you never even apologized. For what? I'm sorry you were too much of a loser to bang Lisa Dominico. You know, my whole life I wanted us to be close. Like Peter and Greg Brady or Richie and Joni Cunningham. <laughs> oh, are you Joni? I always knew you were a bitch. Let me ask you one final thing. When I was 10, I had a baseball autograph by Don Mattingly. And then out of the blue, it went missing. Did you take it? After all these years, just tell me, did you take it? Yeah, I did. As a matter of fact, I sold it on eBay just a few months ago. Only sold for 50 bucks. 50 bucks? That thing was priceless to me, man. You're a dick. You're a dick. Oh yeah? Honey. Hey, Bruce. How's it going? What's up? <laughs> Do you know it took until 1920 for women to get the right to vote? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until 1975, 1975, that the Supreme Court denied states the right to refuse women on juries. 1981, Sandra Day O'Connor became the first woman on the Supreme Court. 1981. It takes years and years and years for women to get equality. Why? Why does it take so long? Because it's a man's world. Well, it was. Not anymore. You know, women give birth to men. A man's greatest desire in life, it's a woman. And behind every great man is a woman. So why, why has there never been equality? Because we're the weaker sex, right? <laughs> well, the universe obviously got sick of that concept. Is it, is this a place for abused people? I guess it is. Oh, good. My, my girlfriend, she's, she's, she's trying to hurt me. Can, can I hang out here for a little bit? This is the sisterhood sanctuary. You men are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. went to the doctor today. Really? I ordered some Chinese food. There's lo mein in the fridge and some of the delivery guy in the bathtub. You killed another guy? Yes, and so did my friend Stephanie. Why don't you feel it? Why, why aren't you going through this? I don't know. Wait, your period. You don't get your period when you're pregnant, right? That's why you don't feel what we feel. I mean, I had some spotting. No, you idiot. You aren't experiencing this. So, for years when I got my period, I wanted to kill people. And now, now that everyone else can't, now they want to kill people? What did the doctor say? I, uh, I had the ultrasound. And? It's... a boy. Ah, shit. You have to stop doing this. It's crazy. You're killing people. I'm not killing people, only men. It's not who you are. It has to stop. Maybe this is who I've been this whole time. It's just been bottled up and trapped inside. No, it's not who you are. It's not who you want to be. There's becoming a powerful woman and then there's becoming a fucking maniac. What if this doesn't ever end? And my son grows up, what's gonna happen to him? Easy, we'll raise him gay and we'll transition him to a female. Wow, esta mas loca que no cabra. You're fucking crazy. No, I... I don't know. He, He's not here. I, I don't know where he is. Okay. All right, all right. Bye. Bye. Um, that was my sister. And she just killed her husband. What? And now she's asking about you. What the fuck? I don't know what to do. No, no. You can't call 911. All the lines are busy. All emergency services are yeah, down. Yeah, well, that's what happens when half the population is killing off the other half. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm scared. You know, I've been thinking about all the uh, crazy shit I've done 
to women over the years and uh, all the lying and cheating and you know, manipulation. And I, uh, I guess I started to feel a little bit bad. Yeah, that's called guilt. Every once in a blue moon, men feel guilt about things. It's usually rather brief and harmless. It's over rather quickly. Do you feel guilt because you hurt women or because it's come back to bite you in the ass? My whole life, I've been scared of men. My father, boys at school, just men in general. Once, I saw a man screaming at his wife and kids in public. I asked him to stop. I'm usually not confrontational, but I couldn't help myself. He told me to shut up. He said, a woman's mouth is only good for one thing anyway. Do you happen to know what that one thing is? Uh, no, ma'am. Oh, come on. What does a man want a woman to do with her mouth? Um, I, I, I just, I mean, I just wanted to thank you, woman, for letting me be here. I, I feel really safe here. I know what they say. Well-behaved women seldom make history. Open up and say, ah, <laughs> say, ah. <laughs> Kill me. They're gonna okay, fucking um, kill me. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, sit down. Sit down. What, why? Just sit down. Just trust me. We'll, we'll just we'll hide in the basement and we'll barricade ourselves in and we have all those. No, 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 no. We can't. They're gonna kill me. And if I'm gonna die, I don't want it to be from them. I don't. It has to be you. No. We've talked no. about this. Plan B. We have to. This is how it has to be. I don't want to hurt you. Sorry. And I'm ready. We're ready. I want to do this. You have to. It's the only way. It's the only way. It's the, it's the pentobarbital from my sister's office. It's like the vet office. It won't hurt. I wanna, I don't want to you do have this. to. I'm ready. I love you. I love you. Close your eyes. I just got my period. Oh shit! Oh my god, I just got my period. Oh fuck. Please, 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 please. Wait. I just got my fucking period. Are you still gonna kill me? What? No. But I would love some chocolate right now. My mother, she was a tailor. She sewed my new blue jeans. My father, he was a gay.
stars of the rising sun.